welcome back to my channel i hope you're doing okay so today's scene i wanted to show you um, a, a really nice way to do uh, water in a landscape scene so i'm just um covering doing the sky first using uh, french ultramarine but you can either use uh, cerulean blue or any other blue that you may have and this, this is going to be quite a nice, soft um, sky. I don't want too much detail in there. So you can see just using the uh, tissue to blot out some, some of the blue areas. Just giving that light, light sort of cloudy sort of look. And you may notice um, halfway, about halfway down the paper, I've got some masking tape. So this... This is what I'm going to show you how to get a really nice effect for, um, for, for the water. So if you stick with me, um, I'll show you that. Um, and I'm going to be using sort of dry, dry brush techniques and um, I've already used wet and wet for the sky. And I'm going to be doing a bit of wet and wet, as you can see, dropping in a bit of yellow ochre into the green sort of hills. Um, so I'm switching up the colours, using sap green, yellow ochre, and um, touches of uh, the French ultramarine to darken up the green. So today's materials, I'm using a Bockingford cold press, £140. And I've got that taped to my board, which is about a 45 degree angle. So it just gives me that... Um, that movement of pigment as it um, gravity pulls that pigment down so you get the nice uh, color mix um, and you get the nice um, just the way the, the the water brings the color down the paper so just adding in some darker trees or some darker trees on the left and right um, there you can see I've got a big tree on the left. And so I'm using using my sap green, but a lot of blue into this mix. So making a, a slightly darker green. So it's not too vibrant, not too bright. It's more of a sort of um, a dull sort of green. Um, and you can see more of the blue there as I pull that down. So th this scene is actually um, Ull's Water, if you if you know that in in the Lake District. Uh, drop me a comment if you if you know the Lake District and let me know your favourite places to visit in in Cumbria. Um, but this is one of my favourite places. Um, we do whenever we go to the Lake District, we do usually use um, Windermere, Bowness as sort of place to um, to to stop. And then we'll, uh, you know, sometimes have a drive out to places like this, Ull's Water, which is one of my favourite places. Not really much there, but it's just, I mean, a lot of places in the Lake District are just absolutely stunning. So I'd, I found this photograph that I took many years ago. So I just wanted to do this uh, painting. And you can either do um, water using masking fluid, but I'm just going to show you how to do it with masking tape. Okay, so I'm just going to remove that masking tape in the middle of the paper and this gives me a nice crisp clean um, land line so where the water meets the land. A 
another way to get this uh, water is uh, as I load my brush I do the bottom of the water so the darker areas and as the paint runs out of my brush I'll do some horizontal strokes across the white so it gives that broken effect as it touches the texture of the paper so that gives me the sparkle in the water so it's good to um, use that technique as well I failed to mention um, the paints that I'm using for this painting. I'm using my Winsor & Newton Professional Grade. Um, only simply because I, I know the colours. I'm quite familiar with my palette. I've had it for quite a number of years. Um, so it's just really a, a go-to when I, when I just want to do a painting. 
I find the paints when they're in the pan dried, uh, they they do go quite hard. Um, so I do like using my Jacksons, which I believe are the same make as the Sennelier brand. I'm not sure, um, but it's the pigments are uh, the binder are, are bound in honey, so it's uh, always uh, soft and tacky, um, sort of gooey um, to paint with. But I do I do like that in watercolors. It certainly makes it easier to um, re-wet the paints and just get painting. So I think it, it it's better for your brushes. So with, with this painting, you can see um, the sparkle on the water. And that was just simply done by um, moving the brush across the paper um, quite quickly um, as the paint was, was dried in the brush. And uh, that's how I got that effect. Don't forget, if you enjoyed watching this video, then please give us a thumbs up, um, like the video, uh, welcome to leave a comment. And if you have been to the Lake District, let me know um, your favourite places to visit. And that's pretty much it. Just got the um, birds to add and also just to remove the masking tape. And then that's it, a, a finished painting. So I hope you like this one. Um, thanks for watching. And please do um, like this video. It really does help me to um, make more content like this. And here we go. So that's it. Thanks for watching. And I'll see you again in the next video. Take care. Bye bye.